Welcome to another video from Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you how to find the matching records between two or more tables using Power Query in Excel. Take a look at the data here. These are the list of actors who have worked in four famous movies of Martin Scorsese. Goodfellas, Raging Bull, The Irishman and Taxi Driver. So we have four tables here. Suppose I want the list of actors who have worked in both Goodfellas and Raging Bull. Let me show you how to pull this information from this data using Power Query. Select the data, insert, table, create table, OK. We'll remove the filter button. We'll name this table as Goodfellas. Now the second table, control T, OK, Raging Bull, now to process this data using Power Query, we need to create connections to these tables. For that, select the table, in the data tab, from table slash range, See the table called Goodfellas is loaded into the Power Query editor. Now to create the connection, close and load, close and load to, only create connection, OK. So we have this query which will refer to this table Goodfellas. Again, from table slash range, close and load. Close and load to only create connection. OK. So we have two queries which will refer to these tables here. Now to combine these queries and to find the matching records, get data, combine queries, merge. We have this dialog called merge which will help us to compare the data. See the instruction written here. Select tables and matching columns to create a merge table. So let's select the first table, Goodfellas. Second table will be Raging Bull. Now we have to specify the columns to compare. The list of actors are in the column called Actor. So select the column called Actor. Now the join kind. There are six different joins in Power Query. To find the matching records, we should go for Inner Join. Okay. And these are the three common values for the tables, Goodfellas and Raging Bull. In other words, these are the three actors who have worked in both Goodfellas and Raging Bull. We are only interested in the list of actors. So to remove the other columns, right click, remove other columns. Now to load this data into the Excel worksheet, close and load, close and load to existing worksheet. We'll select this cell I3. OK. So we have the list of actors who have worked in both Goodfellas and Raging Bull. Chokoski, Robert De Niro, Charles Cosi. Let me show you how dynamic this method is. We'll add some data here. Actor 2. Actor 10, Actor 5, Actor 5, Actor 10, Actor 7. Now let's update this table. Right click, refresh. See the table got updated with the new values that are common for both these tables Actor 10 and Actor 5. We have two more tables here, the list of actors for Irishman and Taxi Driver. To compare this list with the list of Irishman and Taxi Driver, we'll convert this data into Excel tables, Control T, OK. 
we'll name this table as the Irishman. Taxi driver. Now to create connection, right click, get data from table slash range. Close and load, close and load to only create connection. Okay. From table slash range. Close and load, close and load to only create connection. Okay. To merge this query with that of Irishman and taxi driver, right click, table, edit query, in the home tab, combine, merge queries. We'll select the table for the Irishman. Now the columns to compare. Inner join. Okay. So these are the two actors who have worked in Goodfellas, Raging Bull and the Irishman. We'll remove this column. Now to compare this list with that of Taxi Driver. Combine. Merge queries, taxi driver, columns to compare, inner join, ok. So Robert De Niro is the only actor who have worked in all four movies. We'll remove this column, close and load. Let's add some additional data to the other tables. Actor 5, Actor 10, Actor 4, Actor 2, Actor 10. So Actor 10 is now common for all four tables here. So when I update this output table, right click, refresh. The table got updated with the new value that is common for all four tables. I really hope you got something new from this video and if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss any future video releases. Thanks for watching. Wish you a great day.